But hi all, this is live in uh, period one for Honors Algebra 2. Uh, yesterday I posted a small video and kind of fumbled through example eight, mainly because um, I didn't have my pen and I just think it's a little bit better now that I do to kind of give you this video. Uh, example number eight here says, write an equation in factored form for a fifth degree polynomial with zeros at negative five, the multiplicity of three, and three plus i, where q of zero is equal to 2,500. So the only thing new from what we did yesterday is this q of zero is equal to 2,500. Let's just forget about that for a minute and write our polynomial in factored form. So, um, <coughs> zero at negative five. So in order to set this up, remember you're gonna have x is equal to negative five. So then x plus five will be your factor. And it's got a multiplicity of three. So that means it's gonna be cubed. The three plus i. So the way that this works with this factor is because of the conjugate, I also have three minus i as a zero. So it's x minus three plus i and x minus three minus i. So right there's my factors that I have, but in order to really work with a problem, especially whenever uh, it's got imaginaries, we want to eliminate the imaginary numbers. So put it into um, a form without the i. So I'm gonna distribute, I'm gonna make this, let's see if this works here, I'm gonna make this x minus 3 minus i and x minus 3 plus i. Essentially, they just they switch places. I'm then going to distribute. Now, the way that I, sometimes it gets confusing with three, three terms, uh, the way I do it is I like to put my finger over the last two terms and then distribute the first one and then put them over the last and first and then distribute the middle and then put them over the first two and distribute the last. Uh, I'm going to distribute the first one here. I've got x squared minus 3x plus xi. Distribute the middle. I get negative 3x plus 9 minus 3i, and then I'm going to distribute the last. So minus xi plus 3i minus i squared. When, when I go to simplify, okay, I'll be left with x squared. Negative um, 3x and negative 3x become negative 6x. xi and negative xi will cancel. Negative 3i and positive 3i will cancel. I'll be left with plus 9. And then remember this, this becomes minus negative one. So it'll be plus one. So I'll have X plus five cubed times X squared minus six X plus 10. So from yesterday, really, that's, that's like the basis of working with I working with an imaginary. Where the Q of zero equals 2,500 comes in. If I plug in Q of zero into this equation, I get zero plus five cubed times zero squared minus six times zero plus 10. I want to take that Q of zero. I want to plug it into the equation that I have to see what my remainder is. Because essentially what that's telling us is that 
when we plug in zero into the equation, we should have a remainder of 2,500. Okay. So zero plus five is five. So this will give me 125. Zero minus zero plus 10. This will give me 10. And it's telling me that Q of zero right now is 1,250. How would I make 1,250 into 2,500? Yep. You have to multiply it by two. Good. We have to multiply it by two. So in these types of situations, you want to think of what times one uh, times the number that you've given uh, is the number that you want. And in this case, your question mark will be two. So what we'll do is we'll add that at the beginning of our problem, almost like an A value uh, in. So our final equation will read Q of X equals two parenthesis X plus five cubed times X squared minus six X plus 10. And that will be the final factored form. Again, we're taking that whatever we found, that number will have to go off front. Questions at all? I am going to...